What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 147 of the Games and Graphs podcast. My name is Sonny G, and I'm here as always with Finn Steele. Hello. And Steve. Good evening. And this is going to be a stacked show today. We have got so much stacked. to talk about. No time for fucking around today, fellas. <laughs> Straight into it. Straight oh, into yeah. it. Busy week. Busy, busy week. Mm. Um, so, yeah, we'll cut the bullshit from the start. We know you love the <laughs> bullshit. We know you love it. That's why you're here. You listen to the first 15 minutes and you're like, oh, fuck this now. They're going to get yeah, serious. Turn, turn it off. We'll turn it off now. Yeah, we'll turn it off. Greg's like, Greg, to be honest, Greg's like heard the start of it, heard us say that we're not going to mess around, and he's turned it off. Yeah, Greg's, Greg's had enough. He's had enough. <laughs> Can't blame him. Can no, blame I, him. I understand. I understand. I mean, get it. people we'll are here. Pe- yeah, people are here for the comedy. That's what they're here mm. for. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. They don't care yeah. to hear for us. You know, talk serious stuff. No, no. We never talk serious stuff. That's true. Actually, yeah, that we, is we, don't, true. we don't do serious. No, if yeah, you're, you're right. Actually, if anybody is here expecting serious, um, they're in the wrong place. Yeah, yeah. sorry guys, hundred percent, one hundred percent. Right before we do start, thank you very much to anybody who turned up to the pre-show before the pre-show for NXT Takeover in your house mm-hmm. this past yeah. Sunday. That was um, really good fun, really yeah. good laugh. We we literally just sort of spitballed it. We came in. We there was five matches. We had to pad that shit out. That's what we had to do. <laughs> Yeah, five fairly predictable matches. I think yeah. you had you had a clean sweep. I got one wrong. Um, so yeah, we had to pad for a good fifty-five minutes. <laughs> I pad we did. We had some. Yeah. Tell you what, we had some deep conversations. Yeah, yeah we, we talked did. equality. Yes. Wow. Yeah. We had a real serious conversation about equality. Yeah. Um, we, put, we put Brett's mind at ease about his vaccine. Uh, we did. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've heard it. I've heard it went well, and he was okay. So that's good. Good for Brett. Hey. Yeah, he thanked us on yes. uh, both Big Fight Weekly and on uh, yeah. Powered 4 SP3. He thanked yeah, us. Wow. Nice yeah. um, <laughs> I feel like now we are qualified doctors. Mm. Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, that's how that works. I mean, pretty much. Yeah, we keep, yeah. Yeah, we keep yeah. the serious stuff for the streams. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah, if you want the serious stuff, come to, come to the streams. If, otherwise, yeah, just say, yeah. 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 You know, when you hear like the government and stuff, like, people like your know, higher ups go, the experts have said we're the experts. That's yeah. us. Yeah, yeah, we're, that's us. Yeah, we heard it on, we heard Game it on the pre-show before the pre-show. The <laughs> experts said, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pretty um, much. But <laughs> we're going to be back this coming Sunday with another pre-show before the pre-show for Hell in a Cell. WWE does this to us. Like they don't. There's no nothing for weeks. And then there's like two at once. Yeah, like yeah. a bus. Bow 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 bow. bow. <laughs> <laughs> so much for no bullshit at the beginning <laughs> uh, we're over four minutes in that's good so that's not bad for us no that's pretty yeah. good to be honest yeah um we're gonna be oh yeah so episode 150 is fast approaching yes it is. um we've had a little chat um we, you know we, we're trying to keep things fresh this year we're trying to we're trying new things you know we're here every week which is you know in itself amazing um, okay. and we, you know, we're going to try something a little bit different. So episode 150 of this podcast, which is in three weeks time, mm-hmm. is going to be live. That's right, guys. Live. live. All the fucking around live. It's going to be a live <laughs> episode of this podcast. It's going to be a proper episode, but it's going to be live. So people can like comment and ship, going to throw us off our, our rhythms and, and all sorts, the rhythms yeah. that we don't even have. Yes, no other thing. We're going to sound like crap. It's just <laughs> unfortunate. If we get any technical difficulties, I can't edit them out. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. We've we're, we're just, we're just got, to, we've right. got to live. We've got to live with it. Yeah. That's the beauty of live podcasting. That's yeah. it. And, you know, <laughs> knowing how well this podcast... Lying. Yeah, knowing how well <laughs> this podcast usually goes, that it could be a real fuckery. <laughs> it, could, it could be an absolute disaster. But... but so could what? be. We'll see. Hey, if it goes well, we're going to do one a month live. So I think the last one of every month we should do live. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll see. <laughs> but we'll see how no, it goes. I like the idea of that. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Like, yeah, I, yeah. Like, I like the idea of that. That's cool. Um, yeah. Or maybe maybe like anniversary shows. Like, yeah, but we're going to be fucking waiting another 50 shows. <laughs> yeah, but we're consistent now. Be here before you know it. 
It's true. It'd be in like just under a year's time. That is true, yeah. I've just done the quick maths in my head and realised I'm mm. talking shit. Quick Let's maths, move on. Yeah. Let's <laughs> move on straight away. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do if it if the live one goes well, we'll do one often. How, how's that? Hmm. So when good. we feel like it, we'll just we'll just spring it on <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah. 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 We'll be like, oh, hey, next week we're going to be live. Nothing you can do about it now. We've said it. Episode <laughs> one sixty nine will be. Live. Oh, nice. Well, that's definitely a live one now. Mm. <laughs> it is now. <laughs> yeah. Live sixty nine. Hang on. Mm. No, move on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sixty nine uh, live. It's only fitness <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that shit. <sighs> Not really. Literally. How would it even work? Yeah. There's three of us. I don't, I don't know. But like, would... I know. <laughs> oh, God. <Okay>. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Greg, turn it off now. Now, turn it off. <laughs> turn it back on in about three minutes, okay? Um, three minutes. So, but, three. So one of us would be... What happened to no fuckery at the beginning of this? Um, Ruin it. Ruin so, it. One, so it'd be the normal position of 69, standing up. Standing or up, Or lying okay. down, doesn't matter. Standing up would be difficult. You have to like hold the other one. Yeah, it'd be like a tombstone. Okay. Right, yeah. Could, <laughs> a tombstone. I, 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 I could get you in a tombstone. A tombstone, tombstone 69. A there you go. And yeah, then yeah, one really, of us yeah. is going to have to like Spider-Man onto the back. So like... <laughs> like facing... So think human centipede, mm. right? Like, and, and what they do... But obviously, someone's don't Google that. Don't Google so, that. Thanks. Somebody's um, <laughs> like lower bits are just going to have to rest on the other one. Sh- one of the lower shoulders. lower bits. Yeah, lower bits. Right. This I podcast regret- has gone to shit already. I re- lower I re- bits. Name of the podcast. I instantly regret saying sixty-nine. <clears throat> yep, you ruined, you ruined it, Steve. I have ruined it. You, you, got, you got you got it in his head, and then he went off on one. Yeah. Imagine having our minds. <laughs> oh god imagine being <laughs> like us yeah it's hard work oh, yeah. yeah it is I mean <laughs> we're, we're, so, we're such geniuses mm. you know I was fully prepared to come on this tonight do the do the intros say about us being live on Sunday for Hell in a Cell thank everyone for the In Your House stream and then go straight into what we're playing but um, it didn't happen did it no we can do that not so much from now yeah Let's go from now. This Finn. is where it starts. Ah, hello. <clears throat> um, what have you been playing this week? Well, I've been playing a lot of Wreckfest. Nice. I've been playing it so much that last night I unlocked the Platinum Trophy. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Smashing How glass. How many hours? Good. Uh, f- uh, not that many. Pretty like 15, 20, I would say. Okay. That's good. Yeah. But yeah, I played really about fun 10 game. hours, I think. Yeah. Yeah, the annoying ones is getting the online trophies, but or trophy. But I found some random guy in the room and he was like traded wins and eventually both got the Oh you should have just hit me up. Wins, I'd have done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I was, was literally just, I, a message away. Yeah, so I when you could to, jump on and do this breakfast yeah. trophy. Yeah, yeah yes, I, I hadn't right. planned to do it, but it just kinda happened. But yeah, if one I can help you with yours if you like, it takes like ten minutes. So yep. it's no big deal. Pretty please. Um, yeah, no problem. It's a way on that uh, stack boy, uh, more player trophies. Yeah, yeah, we'll get that done, don't worry. Cool. Um, yeah, so that's breakfast. Really fun game. Yeah. Um, I jumped on the demo for um, what the hell's it called? Stranger or whatever. Uh, Final Fantasy Origin uh, demo that got announced and released. Not its official title, by the way. <laughs> Final Fantasy whatever strange world thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Stranger, of, Stranger of Paradise. That's what it's called. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Dark Souls, Final Fantasy, pretty much. They nailed it spot on. Um, a bit more actiony than Dark Souls, a lot more faster paced. Um, but yeah, it's yeah a lot of Final Fantasy elements to get like Final Fantasy enemies in there, which is really cool. And yeah, I like it a lot. I'm look, looking forward to getting the full game. It's still in these early stages, you can tell. Mm. Uh, graphically, it's not like all there, and it's a bit you know hit and miss in some places. But it's a really fun game. Yeah, I saw and, uh, um, I, I saw Gaming Mule play um, about. I watched about ten minutes of Gaming Mule play it. Uh, it looked pretty good. To be honest, yeah, yeah, I thought it looked quite good. It looked very sort of Dark Souls E, but uh, there's like difficulty settings and stuff, so they're sort of catering to uh, yeah. to everybody. Yeah, it's made by the same guys who made uh, Neo, which is another Dark Souls like game. Mm. It's also very good. Um, so yeah, good times. Enjoyed it. 
Awesome. Uh, is that Ninja? It's not Ninja Theory, is it? Team Ninja? Team Ninja, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, Team Ninja. Ninja Theory's Hellblade. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's that, and I jumped on the DLC for Final Fantasy VII briefly. Um, the in, in, uh, Final Fantasy VII Interlude, starring Yuffie. Um, yeah, I haven't really played much of it. I'm waiting to get like a big chunk of time. I'm going to sync, you know, let's go through it in one go. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's really fun. Looking forward to playing more of that. And that's about it. Oh no, I did play a, a bit of Darkest Dungeon today, this morning, on Game Pass. Get my download. Oh, is that on there now? Is it? Yeah, it is. It's on PC. It is. Um, and yeah, really good, really stressful and hard, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> right, we'll avoid that one then. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, um, no, it's really cool. What was I going to ask? You know, I had something I was going to ask you, and then you continued to talk, and I forgot. Oh, <laughs> you went out of your head, yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally went out of my head. What? <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll come back soon. Yeah, it'll probably come um, back like during the wrestling bit later on, and I'd be like, oh, remember <laughs> that thing I remembered? <laughs> <laughs> probably. Um but yeah, that's about it, really. Uh, how about you, oh, Steve? No, this is what I was going to ask you. Oh, sorry. Cool. Sorry, Steve. I didn't mean to cut you off. That's right. Um, <laughs> obviously, you're playing the upgraded version of Final Fantasy VII now, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, how is it in comparison to the PlayStation 4 version? Yeah, really good. I lost me. I'm playing it and been playing it in 60 FPS mode, which is super smooth. Still looks amazing. Like, the lighting and stuff's been improved. The texture's been improved. And that door's been fixed. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, uh, yeah, it's that door. Um, that everyone's going on about. There's one very obvious texture that was just missing on the door. There's like okay. a scene where Tifa opens the door and just like the texture of this door was actually super weird and out of place. And now it's finally been fixed. It's kind of Excellent. a meme online, but yeah. <laughs> That's we should cool. have kept it in there for shits and gigs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's about it. How about you, Steve? Um, not done a huge, huge amount of gaming this week, unfortunately, but uh, myself. Sonny and the King of the Melts, Denzel Hook, mm-hmm. uh, had a pretty poor night on Sea of Thieves. So that's uh, putting it pretty. Uh, that's less, putting it mildly, less, I think. Less said about that, the better. But hey, um, good stuff coming for that game, which we'll talk about oh, later. Hell yes. Yeah. Um, so what else have we been playing? Um, played. Uh, it's fast lanes. Did mention fast lanes? Is there? That was Fast and Furious outside my John, house just John, then. John Cena's just gone past uh, Sonny's house. Yeah, John um, Cena with his slick, slick hair. Yeah. <laughs> uh, been playing a bit more of Pez. Uh, mm. I won the Euros with England, so oh, yeah. very, un- very unrealistic. Um, <laughs> and I jumped onto Wreckfest a little bit myself, uh, oh. online co-op stuff with my uh, with my brother. Shout out to Carl. Who, cool. Actually, that's what I was going to say. just reminded me. He said Demolition Derby. And I went, oh, well, well, hang on a minute. Hey. I <laughs> says, Derby, what are you, American? He went, oh, that's Finn's fault. <laughs> ah, yeah. So there we go. So there we go. My bad, my bad. sorry. So, I know. So you, <laughs> uh, does that make you an influencer? Well, it, does. It, 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 does. Yeah, it does. It does. It finally happens. Finn, yeah. you're an influencer. Congratulations, Finn. It, it finally happened. Where's my money? Give me my money. Hash, hashtag ad. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, yeah that, that's, that's, that's about it. That's about it for me uh, for this week. But um, yeah, all good. Still the same. Cool. Um, Sonny, yourself? Um, so I got a bunch of bullshit platinums. Congrats. I've been having a great time. I've um, I've actually surpassed the platinum amount from my old PSN profile. Yeah, well I had I had twenty one. I now have twenty two on my new one. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. there's about okay. eight years difference between them. Yeah. So what? So what? What are the games you played? What are um, the, uh, phenomenal games you've been playing. Donuts and Justice. That was one. Right. That wasn't terrible actually. I actually quite like that one. But you know what? These these guys in our Discord, right? They've just they've they've influenced me. They're influencers as well. Everyone's an influencer. They they've like they've rotted my brain, and <laughs> now here I am, just playing games for shit platinums. Yeah, yeah. You even got yeah, me but, playing Snake Boat. Yeah. So so Donuts and Justice is one. There was a PS4 version and a PS5 version. You got to do both. Took about Come twenty both. minutes. Um, but that was that was actually quite good. Um, something to do with memorizing cards. I can't even remember what the game's called. Memory Lane. That's it. Memory Lane. That was terrible. Um, <laughs> oh, there was a bunch of other crap as well. Um, but I did get the platinum for Super Soccer Blast, which was actually very enjoyable. Super yeah. Soccer Blast America versus Europe. So the second one, the newest cool. one. Well, we give a clap for that one. That was the least, that was the least game. 
Congrats. Congrats. Thank you. So, yeah, that's them. I've been playing Ratchet and Clank, uh, Rift Apart. Oh, my God. It is so good. Like, it looks amazing. So good. It's, it's, it's mind-blowingly good. You know, you you look at it and you instantly think, yep, this is a next-gen game. It's the yeah. the transitions between like um, like levels. Like so, basically, you can go through rifts and instantly you're in another world. The transition into them, no loading whatsoever. You are literally just straight in there, and it is crazy. Wow, amazing! It is absolutely unbelievable. But it, oh, I can't recommend it enough. Honestly, if you liked the the last one, this one is better in almost every single way. The gameplay is better. Uh, graphically, it's better. Obviously, it loads lightning. Well, no loading at all, pretty much. You basically press X to load the game up, and there's the title screen. Wow. Yeah, it's funny about the seventh like that. Um, like someone did a comparison video mm. on the PS5 version. It takes uh, ten seconds to get from the menu to the actual game, whereas yeah, the original nuts. game took like over a minute. <laughs> it took yeah. like almost a minute's worth of uh, time yeah. save. For I mean, me. You know, that's one of the biggest selling points of a next-gen console. You get people who are like, oh, there's not really much difference between the PS4 and the PS5. It's like, well, that means you've not played a PS5 because, you know, loading games is instant. Mm. Um, frames per second make a huge difference. Graphics Maybe. are better and the controller is amazing. So that's the difference between a PS4 and a PS5. Yeah. And, you know, the same goes for the Xbox One and the Xbox uh, Series consoles. You know, again, lightning quick loading. The graphics are better. The frames per second is everything is just better. So, you know, people saying these things are people who don't have the consoles. Yeah, not trying themselves. Like every single comment section. Well, there's not much point. You know, I can play Horizon Forbidden West on a on a PS4. Yeah, you can, but it won't be as good. Mm. Yeah, it'll be good, like, but it won't be as good. Yeah, it's it's like that. Like I can't get one, so you know, I'm gonna moan and say, oh, it doesn't matter. I don't even need one because. No. Yeah, I don't need one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> PS3 for the win. <laughs> PS3. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been playing that. And it's uh, it's just absolutely mind blowing. I'm going for the platinum in it. It's an easy platinum, um, but I'm just taking my time with the game. I'm just exploring every sort of nook and cranny, and getting everything, even though you don't even need to for the platinum. But I'm just having a great time with it. I don't I actually don't want it to end. Yeah, I like it that definitely. much. I could just fly through the story, but I don't want to. I'm like exploring the the worlds because there's just so much to do, and the worlds yeah. are just vast and beautiful. And yeah, I can't speak highly enough of it. Um, it's going to be in there for my game of the year candidates for sure. I you know went on a loop, went out on a loop, and said that Returnal was the best PlayStation Five exclusive. Ratchet mm -hmm. and Clank is the best PlayStation Five exclusive. Wow, it's overtaken. It has, but that's two very good quality exclusives on PlayStation already this year. I'm not sure what else is to come, to be honest, in terms of exclusives that are coming this year. I know Horizon is supposed to be, um, but obviously that's going to be PS4 and PS5, whereas those yeah. two are just PS5 games. But um, I'm sure we'll see Sony announce some some stuff sh uh, shortly. Yeah, cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, I also today I started playing um, Borderlands 3 again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it? I wanted I wanted a shooter in my life, and I had Borderlands Three installed on my Series X still. Um, so I just I had a little go, and it looks great. You know, it's got it's had its upgrade to the series to, to Series X and S, but it's great. You know, gunplay is brilliant. Borderlands is awesome for that. Yeah, uh, cool. great world, great characters, great graphic graphics, uh, great gunplay. So yeah, cool. that's basically awesome. how I've been spending my gaming week. Good times. Cool. Yeah, man. It's been uh, it's been a bit a lot of fun. Excellent. So, speaking of gaming weeks, seamless transition. Very nice. Seamless okay, we transition. Get every week. Um, <laughs> yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. um, E3 was this week. Well, this past week. It sure was. Yep. Loads of stuff happened. And your boy, Finn Steele, is going to guide us through it. Your boy. Okay, let's go through the biggest. I won't go through it after everything because we'll be here about five hours. We'll go through the biggest announcements that were made. Uh, during this past week or so. Right then, the first one I've got on here is uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Finally got thrown off. Yep. It's a single-player RPG starring all your favourite Guardians from the Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you play as the main character Star-Lord. you got like Gamora, Rocket Raccoon, Groot, Drax, and so on. 
uh, and it's coming out this year, October 26th. Very cool. Yeah. So made by the same people, well, made by, by Square Enix, isn't it? So yeah. um, same publisher that um, put out the Avengers. Yep, yep. But this isn't Turn a game, this isn't a service game. It's um, This is a yeah. just a, a standalone single player game. You don't even get to pick characters, you literally just Star-Lord. Exactly. Mm. It's coming out on PS5, Xbox Series X, S, PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. I mean, the Switch version is via some sort of streaming thing. I think I read that. Yeah, apparently they have like a like a, a cloud. Um, yeah. I've never, I've not sort of used it or seen it, but I think uh, there's Guardians of the Galaxy. That's the front cover. Good front cover. Um, yeah, 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 it's like I think you can play Resident Evil Seven on there. Although I think it was an absolute clusterfuck. Um, you oh, can yeah, also yeah. play Control Ultimate Edition on there as well, hmm. and Hitman, Hitman Three, the newer one. Oh yeah, weird. Yeah, I don't. I, I, yeah, Nintendo. Yeah, knowing, knowing Nintendo's <laughs> online, um, I'm going to doubt it's any good. <laughs> trying, to, <laughs> trying to play Mario Kart or like Smash Brothers or uh, Mario, even Mario Maker is a struggle with other people. Yeah. So yeah, it's not going to be great, <laughs> my prediction. <laughs> uh, if somebody's used it, let us know, because you know that would be quite an interesting thing to know whether it is actually any good. But yeah. I did read when Resident Evil 7 was part of the cloud streaming thing, it just wasn't good. Ah. Uh-huh. Fair play. I'll try it myself, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend that money on it. No, not <laughs> at all. Cool. Uh speaking of Nintendo, um we got Mario a new rabbit no, Mario and Rabbit sequel called Sparks of Hope. It's uh all the same. Uh, it's surprisingly fun, Mario and Rabbit's the original. It is. Um a game everyone expected to just suck and be rubbish. Actually turned out to be really good. Sort of a turn based um XCOM style uh shooter RPG kind of thing. Way less intense. Way less intense, way easier, thankfully. XCOM is hard. God, it's a hard, we hard game. sucked <laughs> so hard at XCOM. Yeah, XCOM 1, my... not too bad. XCOM 2, Jesus oh Christ. Oh my God. We tried to play it, <laughs> me and Finn, and oh my God. The hardest Insane. fucking thing. We were just like so stressed out about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was just not fun at all. It was like, yeah. yeah, you know what? Forget this. Let's just play something else. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one of the games I really want to get into, but no, it's too hard. I can't. Yeah, no. Too stressful. <laughs> Way too hard. Um, speaking of Mario and Rabbids, the first one, you can get mega, mega cheap if you've not played it on the Switch eShop right now. I think it's about a fiver. Oh, really? N- Nintendo doing a sale. What is this? Well, this has been on sale quite a few times, but Mario and Rabbids is, um, it's been like eleven ninety nine. I think you can get the, the, the full edition, like the deluxe one for eleven ninety nine at the minute. Yeah, uh, but well bad. worth playing. Um, my nephew plays it. Um, he really likes it. It's uh, so he'll he'll be excited about the new one. Yeah, awesome, good stuff. Next on my list here is uh, the Outer Worlds two announced for Xbox and PC exclusive. Ooh, there it is. Um, yeah, really funny trailer. Really funny um, trailer. Didn't show up yep. any gameplay or anything, but if it's anything like the first one, it's going to be great. Yeah, they Not even the mocked one. the fact that they had nothing to show. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's very self-deprecating, wasn't it? It yeah. was. It was very, <laughs> very funny. I liked it. But I think that that sort of suits the studio and you know the sort of humour that comes with them. Um, Obsidian, is it? Is that, uh, my, uh, is, that yes. is that the right one? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I mean that 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 will be great. I'm sure. I've not played enough of the first one. I would like to, but I don't have the time to at the minute. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, but yeah, excellent. Look forward to this. Uh, I might might be the game that tempts me to buy an Xbox. We'll see. Depends how PC wins it. Which would you go for, Finn? Series S or the uh, Series X? It's got to be the X, surely. It's got to be. I mean, Fair just, enough. Yeah. But yeah, it's got, I've got, I've got to have, if I'm going to get an Xbox, it's going to be the best. You can get an S real cheap. You can. And you, you can, can. You'll yes. play the games and they still look great. Steve can you know, attest to this. Mm-hmm. True, true. I think and you can actually get one. It. As well, you can actually yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to go out and buy one. Yeah, yeah, some game uh, gamer advertising them on TV. Mm, yeah, I saw. In fact, I was in game just the other day, and um, it's something like two hundred and eighty nine with three months of Game Pass or something like that. Yeah, not bad, but hey, it's still a ways off. So, still a, a while to think about it. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Uh, what next? Um, so we talked about Borderlands earlier. Uh, Gearbox announced Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. It's a spin-off, yeah, a fantasy-based spin-off. Um, let's see what it says here. Tiny Wonderland is set in an unpredictable fantasy world. Creative director Matt Cox told IGN, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, looks really cool. More Borderlands, but fantasy. Yeah. And Tiny Tina is very funny. So, cool. there you go. 
That's what I love <laughs> about Borderlands. It, it is very funny. You know, the, the yeah. cast of characters is always great, and it is is always very very amusing. Yeah, so cool. Look forward to that. Somebody plays Borderlands three so as well. Cool. Yeah, definitely play. It's really good. Yeah, absolutely. Is that on uh, Game Pass? Um, I don't know. I've got it on Series X, but I'm not sure if it's on Game Pass or not. Yeah, I don't think it is. If it is, you should download it and play it. It's really good. Absolutely. Um, right, next on my list is something I'm looking forward to. Uh, Metroid Dread. A new Metroid game, finally. Now remember, Metroid is a thing. There it is. Thanks, Nintendo. Uh, there's Samus <laughs> looking menacing. Hell yeah. Looking awesome. This is the sequel to a game that came out a long, long time ago on uh, Game Boy Advance called Metroid Fusion. That was Metroid 4. This is Metroid 5. Um, and yeah, Metroid Dread was mentioned, not even announced, but mentioned years and years ago in the early 2000s uh, as a sequel, but never became a thing. So now they dragged it back, dragged it back up, and thought, "Hey, let's make this game a thing." It's Metroid's anniversary now. It's coming coming on the October 8th, so coming soonish. Yeah, it looks awesome. pretty good as well. To be fair, um, really I like good. the the gameplay that they showed. I thought that looked really good. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's good. Good times. Yeah. It's not Metroid Prime 4, but they did at least mention it, so it's still it's still a thing. It's not completely forgotten about. Yeah, it's happening. So that's nice. <laughs> Who know? No one knows when. Nintendo don't even know when. <laughs> no. Nope. They're just telling you a title for a game. Yeah, it, it's a thing that still exists. So yeah. Good. Right. You know, afterwards they were like, "Oh, you mentioned Metroid Prime 4," and they were like, "Yeah, no one expects it for at least 26 years, so <laughs> we haven't got to worry about that shit for a long time. Don't worry about it. We've planted the seed. They know it's coming, but we didn't tell them when." <laughs> yeah, we can take our time, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next up on my list, we have a game I talked about earlier, Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origin, uh, Final Fantasy Dark Souls. It's awesome. Uh, look forward to that. Not coming out for a little while yet, coming out in 2022, but there is a demo available now, from now until, I think it's July or something? Uh, yeah, July. it's a limited time demo, isn't it? Um, I think yeah. it's like the middle of July, something like that. Yeah, basically a beta test. Um, you can fill out a, tra- uh, a survey at the end of the game. To say how what you liked, what you didn't like, etc. Did you do that? I haven't done it. I'm gonna, I'm, I haven't gotten to the final boss yet. Oh, okay. I got part way through it and thought, okay, I've got to stop for now. Turn it off. Turn it back on later, and you start back from the beginning. So oh, that's good. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. You get, you, just you play all at up, once. Yeah, you keep all your upgrades, thankfully. Oh, not, okay, that's ooh, good. Not, yeah, not completely lost, but yeah, good game. And then we got turning from Hideo Kojima, uh, Death Stranding director's cut with a really cool trailer. An homage to uh, Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. yeah um, I'm assuming this is going to be a free upgrade to current owners of it from for PlayStation 4. I would hope so. Would be nice. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, big, beautiful game. Uh, very interesting, very different. Mm. Uh, very Kojima is probably the very best Kojima. way to describe it. But it's, um, yeah, man. The most it's, Kojima it's, game it's of a, all time. Yeah, it, it's, yeah, it is the most Kojima game <laughs> of all time. But it's beautiful. It really is. Great soundtrack too. Like if you're just walking, Maybe. like you see like the awesome like landscape in the background, and then some badass song starts playing. You're like, oh, this is this is awesome. Yeah. When I say badass song, I don't mean like Metallica or some shit. I mean like <laughs> something really soothing and you know in keeping with the theme. But it's uh, yeah, it's uh, that's a stunning game. Yeah, amazing. At the end, uh, the demo or the trailer. Um, normally, this gets in the box. While they're wearing blue. More on that later. Mm. Mm. So, next game we have is a game I know you're excited for, Sunny. Forza Horizon 5. And now it's a yeah. beautiful trailer. Absolutely oh, amazing. Yeah. Looking. Steve, Coming out on um, November 9th. I know that you're excited about this one. Talk to me about it, man. What did you think to the big reveal of Forza Horizon 5? We sort of knew it was coming, but um, it doesn't make it any less exciting. Yeah, I, I can't wait. I really, really can't wait. I read the the day before that it was likely to be uh, Mexico because there was a lot of rumours that it was going to be Japan. That Japan. Uh, in in terms of the uh, Japan, uh, in terms of uh, the location of, of the game, but um, hey, Mexico, cool enough. Um, you know, been to Mexico, love the place. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool, and it just looked. I was just I was. My mouth was just wide open. I was just like, oh, my God. And the stream that I was watching was, was in 1080p, and it looked amazing. Yeah. And then I watched it back in, in 4K, and, yeah, I just couldn't believe it. It was just 
um, Kai, Kai was in the room with me and I said, I said to her, look, I says, look at that. She went, what is it, a film? I was mm-hmm. like, no. And then this car just went zooming by and went, that's, that's, a, that's a computer game. And she's just like, yeah, that, that is unbelievable. So mm-hmm. look, I've seen a lot of people are moaning that it's not Japan. Um, I think they're probably saving somewhere like Japan, which visually will look absolutely incredible when they do it. I think they're waiting for when it is a truly next gen game to uh, so maybe like Forza Forza Six whenever that comes out. They're probably yeah. waiting until then to holding off on on Japan. Uh, the new Forza Motorsport's going to be next gen, truly next gen. It's just not going to mm-hmm. be a uh, X upgrade. So um, yeah, I, I I cannot wait. It looks it looks amazing. Um, it's made me instantly want to jump back onto Forza Four. Um, tried playing it last night, but um, it was it, it wouldn't load because it was doing some sort of upgrade. So I went on to Wreckfest yeah. instead. But yeah, it. <laughs> what I was going to say, it looks amazing. We know it, it looks does. amazing. Um, That's to be the biggest and, one they've done as well, which yeah, is it just quite yeah, daunting. Huge, yeah. That, that is quite daunting because at times I find uh, Forza Horizon Four um, quite daunting in terms of, oh my God, look at all these races and look at all these different things I've got to do. And you have to kind of just de- comp- decompartmentalize the, everything. I use the map filter so yes, I often do. now. Yeah, I do. I do. It's just you too much. To do. You can't you see the map. To, right? Yeah, it gets, it gets a bit a bit uh, overwhelming otherwise. And you're like, oof. So yeah, this being the biggest one, that's going to be uh, quite daunting, but it's uh, I've I've pre-installed it already. I know it's not out until November, but I've pre-installed it. Um, right. Just just so that every time I turn my Xbox on, I can see it there and just be like, yes, the hype is real. And just yep. you know, I don't want to wish the year away, but I can't wait for November. <laughs> no, I can't. I'm 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 exactly the same. But um, before we move on, Steve, I just want to ask you about another game that was revealed um, that's coming to Game Pass next month: uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, what did you think of that trailer? I mean, Jesus Christ, it looked, <laughs> it again, looked unbelievable. Again, looked amazing. Watched it back in, in 4K and it just visually just looks absolutely stunning. Just looks so realistic. Um, I've never played a flight simulator game. I've always been sort of intrigued by them. And I think they've, they're a lot more... I get the impression that they're a lot more fun these days than back in the day where it'd be like... I'm going to fly a 747 from Gatwick to New York and sit there for nine hours. And now it looks like you can do some really cool stuff with with like stunt planes and various different things. And um, so yeah, I, I can't wait for that. I really, really can't. That's that's um, that's going to be a day one for me. Absolutely. Yeah, man, definitely. That's a Series X only game as well. Series X and S only game as well. Yeah. So if you've got an Xbox yeah. One, you are going to miss out on that one, unfortunately. Yeah, it looks. Looks great. Say so it's not. It's been a game that's always interested me, but usually it's come out on PC, and I've never had a PC powerful enough to really play it. But um, I'm going to have to clear some space. I'm going to have to delete some games. Uh, I know that much. But um, yeah, again, l- looks amazing. I'm sure it will be amazing once I start playing it, and I imagine I will lose many hours to that game. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's not usually my kind of thing, but uh, right. I just want to go and explore. I just want to go and you know fly over the world and just see what it you know just yeah. see what it looks like. I just want to go see these different places in mm. you know glorious 4K and yeah. um, it, it really does look amazing. Yeah, yeah it does. incredible. Yeah, cool. Sorry, uh, back yeah. to you, mate. No, that's right. Speaking of Xbox, another one that I know you guys will be excited for. Sea of Thieves announced <sighs> a new Pirates Life expansion featuring the Pirates of the Caribbean's Captain Jack. There he is. But cool, amazing. Yeah, I was not expecting this at no. all. Now we were expecting no. some like extra content for it, um, you know, just like an announcement for season three or whatever. But um, this straight out of left field was not expecting it at all. But this is this is going to be so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, like I say, really out of left field. Did not see that coming at all. What a huge get for a for 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 a. I, I feel as well, we feel is a very sort of underrated game that maybe a lot of people are sleeping on. Um, look, it's not it's not perfect. We just really enjoy playing it. Yeah. Um, but what a huge get, you know, a crossover with Disney for a, yeah. for a studio based in a small place 
uh, just outside of uh, yeah, about where twenty we minutes live. down the road from us. Yeah, yeah. in yeah. Uh, in Twycross, which is famous for its zoo. Um, there's, there's, a, <laughs> yeah. there's a little gaming studio. Well, I don't know, a little but uh, gaming studio that uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> a teaming up with Disney to create this what looks to be absolutely amazing uh, expansion. So I can't wait, and it's and it's out next, next week. week. Yeah. Wow. Very nice. Can't wait. I'm so excited for it. Yeah, I am as well. Awesome. Really excited. Good stuff. Um, what else have we got? A bunch of stuff that doesn't really look interesting. Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> Mario Party Superstars. Uh, it's best of Mario Party collection, basically. Very popular. You know, old school popular boards for more games as well as mini games and stuff like that. Coming out October 29th. We need to play this. Oh, one hundred percent, we do. Yeah, that looks, this will this will be great. I love the old Mario Party, so yeah. So, yeah. Um, I love I also love the new Mario Party, but yeah, I'm looking forward to playing this. Um, you know, I've played a lot of the older ones, so yeah, I'm ready for it. Yeah, we just get together and have like a game night or something. Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, cool. we're allowed to do that shit now, so that's good. Yeah, we can, we can do that. Yay! Yeah, cool. <laughs> that's that. Um, what else? Jurassic World Evolution Two mm. got announced. Um, First one's great. By, if you've not played it, it's great. Yeah, it's by uh, got announced by Jeff Goblin himself. Cool. Yeah, yeah. He voices. Uh, he's got his, his official voice and likeness are in the first one. Very cool. Yeah, so it's a park building sim. It sounds a bit boring, but it's actually quite fun. Got look at things. Oh, it's dinosaurs. Mm. That's it. That's, <laughs> there you go. It's yeah, cool. it's that, that makes it cool already. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Dinosaurs. <laughs> um, <laughs> what else? Oh yeah, WarioWare. Brand new WarioWare games coming out. Yes, I love WarioWare. Oh yeah, it is. There it is. Yeah. Uh, Another one we should play. Absolutely. WarioWare Get Together. Uh, coming out with Seb Diamond Tales on the Switch, obviously. So much fun. Last one, I played the last one on Wii, I think it was. Or was it Wii U? Can't remember. There's but one on the really Wii good. U, I think. Yeah. How has it taken them this long to bring one out on the Switch? Yeah, it, <laughs> the Switch is made for these games. Exactly, right? Like, perfect oh, so for it. Yeah. So good. But either way, it's coming and it'll be great. Love the mini games on WarioWare. Always have. They're going to be awesome. Yeah. Yep. So good. Uh, what else? Halo Infinite got a trailer? Multiplayer tra- uh, trailer? Yeah. Um, it looks insane. Looking yep. forward to it. Um, think of a date specifically. They just said holiday 2021. So it's coming this year. Yeah. They just obviously haven't Soon. got a date now down for it. Yet. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm excited yeah, for it. Really looking forward to it. Um, the multiplayer looks crazy. Me and Denzel, we got super in to Halo 5 multiplayer before, uh, when it first came out. Nice. And we got good at it. Like, <laughs> it really good. good at it. I don't awesome. know how, and I don't know why. But we just, <laughs> just picked did. it up real quick, and we were just <laughs> finishing top two every time. Wow, very good. Yeah, so I'm looking forward good to this one. I'm looking forward to trying it out and uh, not replicating that form from Halo 5. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, what else? Oh, yes. Uh, Breath of the Wild 2 was shown off with a new trailer. Still a long yep. way off. But it's a way off. Pretty. That's next year, yeah. though, it's coming, isn't it? I think so. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, 2022 at some point. Featuring Probably added holiday. Fortnite mode where you come from the sky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's so sky based stuff, you know, in the sky, similar to Skyward Sword, I guess, maybe. Do you think there's going to be some sort of um, follow on? What to from Skyward Sword as they're bringing that out? Yeah, I think could they so. be linked they're... in some way? Yeah, I think so. I think there'll be the story. What the story was will be followed, and I think Ganon's you know being resurrected or something. Yeah, talking about trailer. But yeah, very cool. We see that again. Skyward Sword coming out on the sixteenth. I look forward to that. That's pre-ordered already. Nice. <laughs> Love me some Zelda. Oh yeah. Uh, Capcom did a thing, kind of meh. But they said that uh, Resident Evil Village DLC has begun. Didn't announce anything, just that it's a thing that's being made. Uh, yep, cool. And they may as well have announced that water was wet at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's sky is blue. Uh, yep. Also announced a spin-off to Monster Hunter, uh, Monster Hunter Stories 2, um, which is basically a single-player uh, RPG based on Monster Hunter. That, that was announced a while ago. Yeah, I think, now, I think they just showed up a new trailer or something, didn't they? Yeah, it looks okay. I mean, Monster Hunter Rise for the Switch is really good, but yeah, this looks okay. I probably won't play it, but it looks okay. Yeah, Yeah. looks decent. Um, What else? Uh, Fatal Frame, Made in the Blackwater, which is a Wii U game originally. It's getting re-released not only on Switch, but on PS4 and Xbox as well. Yeah, That's pretty cool, cool, right? Yeah, really good game. Really good horror game. 
Um, recommended. I played it on Wii U. Will That's you play some it? Vi- Do it again. Will you play it? Yeah, I'll play it again. Get the trophies. In fact, I did a video on my old channel of the, this game. There you go. Yeah. Fin, fin, fin Steel was a thing before this. It was. Oh. Believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> and I will be again. Um, He's never leaving. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'll be here as well. <laughs> um, I think that's pretty much all the big ones. I showed off, you won't care, but Shin Megami Tensei V won for me. The Nintendo really cool, Conference cool is so Japanese. It's very Japanese. Oh, yeah, and uh, Kazuya from uh, Tekken's in Smash Brothers now. Imagine awesome. how much of a fuck you that is to people when you <laughs> open up your E3 conference with that. <laughs> but with Nintendo, you expect absolutely nothing less. Yeah. No, it's turned, a pretty cool trailer. Very funny. I turned it on, saw Kazuya do like the dropping thing off the cliff, like in Tekken, <laughs> and I just yeah. laughed and I knew instantly what it was. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, but yeah, I, I thought that was really cool. I liked the trailer a lot. And they've got like Tekken guys, got Street Fighter guys, got King of Fighters guys all in there. Mm. Very cool. And also That's the trailer cool, at the end. Yeah, when he drops Kirby off the cliff, and yep. he just floats back up again. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> um. And yeah, I think that's all the biggest things that I can, as far as I can tell. You guys, um, do you want to talk about anything else? Yeah, what about that Switch Pro, though? Yeah, it was great, wasn't it? Loved it. <laughs> Coming out later this year. Uh, <laughs> it also doesn't exist. Do we, yeah, do we think it actually just doesn't <laughs> exist, or are they holding it back? I think they're holding it back. It's a thing. It's got to be. The Switch has been out for a long time. I think I saw but, a thing You know about... what? They probably saw all the leaks on the internet, and then they thought, <laughs> you know what? Forget it. Scrap it. If they think we're doing something, balls to them. That's what they want. We're not. We're not going to give it to them. No. <laughs> That'd be very Nintendo. Well, they're looking um, to get Breath of the Wild too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's that? They want to do um, Mario Kart? Nah, not one. Not a single chance. Yeah, Mario Bayonetta Kart three. Forever. <laughs> Chuck them rabbits back in with Mario. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not Nintendo. Uh, but yeah, I sort of think that that was like. The Switch has been out longer than the Wii U has had been out, but when the Switch got announced, if that makes sense, yeah. So it, it's, it's time for a new console, or the unupgraded console, not a new one. They definitely don't need to change it. I mean, uh, the, the Switch is still selling like absolute hotcakes. They'd right. be stupid to to can it now. Plus, a lot of the a lot of the games that come out on Switch are not exactly graphically demanding. Yeah, exactly. So you know. <sighs> I'm not convinced one is absolutely necessary. No, I don't think so. I think it would just be a, I'd say like a little bit upgrade, maybe up to upload to uh, 4K, maybe get 60 FPS on there. Yeah, Nintendo don't things. Do I think it's about that. <laughs> maybe not. Who knows? We'll see. Something, was... Something's coming. I'm not sure what, but something. Just a, an even smaller switch. <laughs> just just yeah, a, just a switch tiny one. Yeah. Light, like, light. Yeah. Yeah, like a Game Boy size one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's cool. a game and watch coming. A new one. There is with Zelda. Yeah. yeah. Zelda's big anniversary. Oh, yeah, speaking of big anniversaries, the biggest one uh, of the year, as you all know, is uh, Monkey Ball. There's a new Monkey Ball game coming out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, hey, well, I like Monkey uh, yeah. Ball. So I'll probably be playing this. Every single thing they do at the minute has like a special edition as well. Yeah. It's this game. It has like a, a special edition everything. Yeah, you get a <laughs> you get a monkey in a ball. Um, <laughs> and we all like, like monkey. A, a, yeah, like a, a big spread out thing with a history of Monkey Ball on it, and you get the game as well, I guess. <laughs> I guess no, you get to buy it separate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's Nintendo. Yeah, of course, Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, all, all in all, I thought it was pretty good. E three, I enjoyed it. I thought there was some really mm. cool stuff um, announced. Um, I thought the Xbox conference was really good. Probably the best one they've done in some time. Hmm. Um, and I think they probably they probably had the best show of the of the weekend. Yeah, I'd say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I thought I thought they did a really good job. Um, you know, and that's that's what they needed to do. Just th- you know, throw games at us. Just tell us the games that are coming. We don't care about anything else. You know, your mm-hmm. hardware is out there in the world now. We don't need anything else. Just throw just just games, 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 games. And Game Pass is just going to continue to to <sighs> grow, and it's just a. Forever. It's it's just nuts, man. It really is nuts. I mean, yeah. uh, they're, they're going to shift some Xboxes for sure over the over the coming months. Yeah, was it added a bunch of a bunch more uh, Bethesda games on Game Pass? Yeah, ten uh, like more. Fallout, yeah, Fallout, Fallout games, even within two. Uh, Dishonored, 
you know, Deathlon 2. Or, no, no, the, like, the spin off, Death of the Outside, I think it's called. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, Fallout New Vegas, uh, Wolfenstein 2. So, yeah, a bunch of games like that. Mm. Yeah, it's crazy. Very good. And then they announced yeah. all these games that are coming to Game Pass day one, like Psychonauts 2 and, Forza. you know, Forza, yeah, Forza, Forza Flight yeah. Sim, Halo. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I think there's a there's a there's a, a new game every month, isn't there? To the end, pretty of the year. yeah. It's there's a brand new game day one, yeah, every month. And then and then next year, they showed um, that exclusive, that new exclusive. The get the the name of it evades me uh, right now. Um, I'd like them. There the, the, the were British. The, the characters in it were, were, were British accents. And uh, not like stop. shooting ghosts. No, not stealth field or whatever that was. Um, that was another one. I can't remember its name. It's an, exclusive. Um, it's an Xbox exclusive. It's coming out next year. Right. Okay. I can't remember the name of it, but that's another one. Starfield is yeah, um, Xbox exclusive. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Uh, and again, day one on Game Pass. Crazy. <laughs> Mental. Yeah. So a lot of a lot of really cool stuff uh, coming to Xbox. And yeah, I think they are going to shift a fair few consoles. Um, I mean, oh, yeah. we said that you know, Game Pass alone is a good enough buy, you know, is a good enough reason to have the Series S. Mm. You know, if you're super hardcore and you want, you know, the, the bells and whistles and all that sort of stuff and, you know, you get the X. But, yeah, the, the S is going to be a big seller. I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain of it. If yeah, they can produce okay. them quick enough and get them out in time for Christmas, which I think they will, then uh, that's going to be a big one. Yeah, Absolutely. Uh, back for blood day one game pass oh yeah left for dead um kind of thing yeah looks really good yeah it's stalker 2 as well i think that's next year. stalker 2 yeah uh yeah stalker 2 is next year um i know what you mean they showed it right at the end of the conference didn't they redfall that's it yeah redfall yeah um mm. big open world multiplayer shooter yeah, open world first person shooter from arcane austin the award winning team behind prey and design there you go. Oh, awesome. Play it solo or team up with as many as three friends to take on a legion of vampires that have overtaken the once quaint island of Redfall. There you go. Okay. Hmm. Sounds very good. good. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it was like a CGI trailer that they showed, but it was it was great. Yeah, I thought, oh, yeah, this looks really cool. So I look forward to that one mm. next year as well. Um, going back to Starfield real quick, uh, a lot of people were like, oh, they just showed a CGI trailer, but they actually didn't. No, it was game <laughs> what they footage. showed was in-game footage. Yeah, it was like, wow. uh, yeah, it, uh, yeah, it was. All, it was all just the in-game engine, not a CGI trailer at all. So that's how impressive that's going to be. Yeah, mm. I can say it's um, it, it's it's quite funny to me because when I bought my Series S, there was someone that I worked with was like, "Oh, that's the there's, there's no disc drive with that, is it? So you're going to get ripped off with uh, buying digital copies of games." <laughs> game Pass. <laughs> I'm I'm paying eleven pound a month, and I'm going to. I can play any of these games, and if I don't like them, I delete them. And what have I lost? Nothing. Yeah. Exactly. Have you have you actually had to buy a game yet? No. <laughs> yeah, no. that's crazy. You've had um, that console sorry, since the no, day it came sorry. out. I <laughs> I bought FIFA. I bought the uh, I bought FIFA. Huh? So, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. That was it. That was it. Yeah. But <laughs> you know, that's one game in. <laughs> it came out in November, so November, seven months. Yeah, yeah, seven seven months. Uh, yeah. and I've bought wow. one game yeah Game Pass is absolutely insane and it's not like it's sat there collecting dust either in comparison to you know <laughs> previous but to like my PS4 but um, well, yeah no, I mean we, 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 we play you know a, a couple of hours of Sea of Thieves a week easily yeah 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 so you know I mean the, the Game Pass makes that console worth owning alone yeah yeah absolutely just for all the different things you can try it opens up a whole new world of games to you that you wouldn't you know for example, Sea of Thieves, you you wouldn't have spent sixty quid on it. Absolutely not, no. No. <laughs> but you got to try it because it's on Game Pass and will always be on Game Pass. And mm. you know, you've discovered a new game because of it. It's just yeah. an amazing thing. I'll be honest, I probably wouldn't have part even though I know now that it is amazing and well worth the money, I probably wouldn't have parted cash for Forza either. Unless it was relatively a relatively decent price but yeah there it is game pass boom download yeah, it play exactly. it play it to death yep. so yeah it, it uh yeah can't can't complain no that's it yeah great time to be a gamer all round not just on xbox on everything you know um, yeah of course 
I expect we'll see a state of play from Sony at some point, um, you know, in the next month or so, possibly yeah, just detailing probably. what they've got coming. Um, you know, they will have great stuff cool coming. For E3. Sony's too cool for E3. They didn't mean to go in that stupid show. we got our own show. We're cool with Sony. We've got a PS5. <laughs> yeah, we have, a, we have our own show with a terrible voiceover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, don't, we don't need that shit. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's... Um, such a such an exciting time to be a gamer, man. New consoles and Game Pass, and you know it's just so much going on. It's so accessible as well these days. A lot to a lot to be excited about. A lot a lot to be proud of to be a gamer as well. Absolutely. So, yeah. so it's just a it's just a great time for sure. Um, cool. Any more gaming news, Finn? Um, no more gaming news. However, there has been a conspiracy on us online on Twitter from a studio named Blue Box Blue Box Games. Mm. But ages ago, I'm gonna put my conspiracy hat on. Hold on. You got a conspiracy hat? Like conspiracy glasses. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Diana Let's go into it. <laughs> the queen <Right>. killed Diana. <laughs> no, it's the queen <laughs> killed <t> Diana. <laughs> the car crash was rigged. Queen, queen, queen did queen it. Queen killed her. Queen yeah. killed her. Qu qu yeah, Queen got in a car like Fast and Furious and ran her off the fucking road. Yeah, the Queen killed her at 9 p.m. Europe time. Nice <laughs> European time. <laughs> 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 Go on, Finn. All right. This is some conspiracy music. There we go. It's a lot like our quiz it music. It is, but... yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> a lot like it, but it's not it. Yeah, exactly. Very similar. Sort of changes. So, mm. Yeah. So, a long time ago, Blue Box Games announced a game called Abandoned. Recently, they tweeted out a teaser saying that their new game began with the letter S and ends in the letter L. Everyone immediately thought that it would be Silent Hill. However, they denied it and then apologised. However, they've since tweeted out another tweet, um, <laughs> <laughs> which reads, uh, Some gameplay facts to look forward to. Next game graphics, 4K60, no HUD, manual ammo check, taking care of wounds, Realistic cinematic survival and snowflakes of blood. Hmm, what does that mean? Well, in 2014, a Gamescom PlayStation event included a, a, like a teaser trailer including a bloody snowflake, and this was the same event that announced PT. Ooh. Coincidence. Hmm. So, what are you and, thinking with this? Are you thinking it is going to be Silent Hill? The comparisons uh, are crazy. It's got to be. Uh, also, that Death Stranding trade we talked about earlier uh, involved normal readers getting into, dressed in blue, getting into a box. Could be a coincidence, but this is Kideo Kojima we're talking about. Mm. Um, it's also similar to when they announced the Phantom Pain. Hideo had a fake studio set up on Twitter doing similar things. Right, um, so you think Hideo Kojima's behind this uh, quote unquote abandoned? Seems like it. Uh, if you go to Blue Box's YouTube, channel their banner is a scenery full of hills <laughs> the lead designer of, of uh, bootbox studios is called um, hassan karaman hk right and and karaman in turkish tran translates to hideo or hassan yeah one of those i think hassan translates to hideo right mm, in turkish um uh, yeah the only other release game was called The Whisperer, which was completed by another studio, and this studio's logo is a black handprint, much like Death Stranding. <laughs> if you go to their details, uh, they were founded exactly one year after PT's release. Right, okay. Also, also Blue Box BB, as in BB from Death Stranding. Uh, and the text they used on an old uh, Twitter header, which they've since deleted, was done in a very similar font as the font used in BT. Right, mm. okay. Now it's a trailer coming soon on the 22nd, which hopefully we will reveal all. So that we'll see. We'll is see. pretty exciting. Now, <laughs> that's, that's if, way too many coincidences for it not to be something else, surely. It's far too many coincidences. Now, um, a band is, is so they're basically what they showed was first person gameplay, wasn't it? Uh, I didn't show it anything, yeah, really. That's what I can tell. I that's just not a very the, brief teaser. I, I might be thinking of something completely different here where they showed sort of um, like someone running through the woods. Uh, maybe, hold on, let me look it up. This is all from Twitter. 
let's have a look. But yeah, if this, if this isn't turns out to be Silent Hills, it's the greatest troll of all time. It's a pretty great troll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, and they apologise like immediately, saying, "Oh, it's, it's not Silent Hills. Not to get people's hopes up. Um, with them to do Hideo Kojima. Sorry." It's like, mm, is it though? Mm. Is it though? Uh, well, I like seeing these trailers anywhere. I might be thinking of something completely different. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. But yes, a new trailer coming to. Come to PS5. I think apparently it's like you download it on PS5 and it renders it in real time on PS5 rather than it's been like a video, which is pretty cool. Right, okay. But yeah, so that's a, that's a conspiracy theory leading to potentially a new Silent Hill game being announced on the 22nd, I think it was. So yeah, that's just the PlayStation 5 game as well that also sort of gives it a bit more um, of a, you know, an idea that it could be Silent Hill and a Kojima game. Yes, indeed. HK, yeah. I think the the fact that his name, his made up name, translates to literally Hideo, Hideo in Turkish is a bit. Come on. <laughs> yeah. That's that's, that's been the, the, the giveaway, I think. I think Plus, so. You know everything else. I bet. <laughs> oh yeah, literally everything else as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's got it's got to be, and also abandoned as as in like so Silent Hill is abandoned. Yeah. Come on. Come it's on. Be. Okay. Well, so, yeah, we'll know the... this time next week. So when we record the podcast next week, we'll actually know. Yeah. <gasps> hopefully. Cool. Oh, so yeah. That's uh, that's uh, the conspiracy theory. It's there you fun go. to read about and it's really fascinating because when this is eventually does turn out to be Silent Hill, um, it's a really clever way to market it. I, I like the, I like when stuff like this happens. It makes things a bit more exciting. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. Other than just coming straight out and going, yeah, there's a new Silent Hill coming. There's a trailer coming next week. Now everybody's going to tune into that trailer, you know, hyped up for the potential of a new Silent Hill, and imagine if they're all disappointed. The internet. Will <laughs> yeah. This game is called Soil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh so, yeah. my god uh, so that, that's something to look forward to next week yeah absolutely it's gonna be cool yeah absolutely um i do have one bit of gaming news oh cool Perfect. um rockstar are closing down the servers for grand theft auto 5 for playstation uh, yeah. 3 and xbox 360 yes as well as uh, max pain 3 and something else i believe um like progress saves for la noir yeah that was it yeah well, yeah Plenty of LA Noir. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a shame. But then again, who's playing these games anymore? I mean, there must be somebody playing them, right? I guess. I guess 2J5, I'd imagine people are still holding on to like the 360 PS3 versions, but. I can't imagine yeah. people are playing Max Payne 3 online. There was an <laughs> no. online, actually. I didn't even know. Yeah, it was alright, actually. It wasn't completely terrible. I played it for a little while. Right. Yeah. But, cool. yeah. Kind of sad, end of an era kind of thing. Goodbye, PS3 and Xbox 360. Yeah. Um, it also just means that all the money that you know they used to keep them servers going, they're just going to plow into GTA 5 next gen. And <laughs> yeah. f- fuck GTA 6, it's never happening. Never. <laughs> never gonna Ever. Happen. Nope. <laughs> never. Uh. <laughs> it God can damn be. it. <laughs> we can. Um, God, I dread to think how far that, that is off. 2035. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we're all like old men doing this podcast. Oh, GTA 6 is coming out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can't play it because my fingers have seized up. <laughs> It'd be like that, um, the meme of the uh, the old lady from Titanic. It's been oh, yeah. three years. <laughs> yeah, it will be. Yeah. It'll be like that Pepperidge Farm thing will come up. Pepperidge Farm remembers all that sort of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right, uh, uh, let's talk. Let's talk wrestling. Let's wrestling. Also, uh, guys, we were because we we had so much to get through this week. We thought we'd um, put this week's eliminator on the back burner, but the eliminator will be returning next week. Of course, of course, we'll bring the game heat back next week as well. Heap. Heap. Speaking of the game heat. Heap. Speaking of the game heap, um, I had a delivery to do at work called uh, Heath Road. And I mean, as soon as someone told me, I was like, Heath. I was like, what, what are you doing? Like, oh, nothing. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got into my head. <laughs> we should always be Heath in there. Heath Road. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right. Um, so before we talk NXT TakeOver in your house, Mm-hmm. Just a couple of small notes from SmackDown. 
Um, Bailey and Seth Rollins look like they had the time of their life. <laughs> You've got a bunny segment on like this. Yeah, um, they were just doing some laughing, and it was great. Look at look at look at how happy they both look. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at look at Seth's drip this week. Yeah, let's oh, oh let, let's do it, let's do it. Oh no, hang on. Oh, hello. Is that any music? What, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> you need oh. to tell us what that was now. Oh, oh, it's gone. On. It's my doorbell. Is it? Oh. <laughs> do, 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 do. Well, I've no idea what it. Is. Well, my Amazon parcel arrived earlier, so uh, it's not oh. that. So uh, I'm just not going to go and answer it. Maybe it's somebody um, who's going to ask you if you've got time to talk about Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. I have a feeling it is, so I'm not answering the door. Let's <laughs> go on the podcast. Yeah, we'll, we'll listen to so tell, uh, tell, people... tell us about your uh, Jesus Christ yeah, just, thing. Tell us, tell us about. This, I'm going to uh... talk about CrossFit Jesus instead. I'm going to talk about. Let's Seth do it. Rollins yeah, let's do let's, that. That's let's queue up the. Right, put it back what, up because I've not. Is Seth Rollins this wearing? First time I've actually seen it. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, so this, to me, looks like uh, your classic pastel coloured two-tone uh, suit that Seth Rollins is wearing this week. Can't quite tell what shirt he's wearing, but I think the shirt is a kind of a lighter shade of pink, which kind of goes with the with the pink tone of the suit. Uh, the no sock look again with the shiny black shoes, which is a classic and a staple of the Seth Rollins look now. And of course, finished off with the black wanking glove. Of course. Excellent. Uh, and that was this week's edition of What is Seth Rollins Wearing? <laughs> I love it. On the, on the fly. <laughs> featuring um, my doorbell. Featuring yeah. your doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that you've gone with such a timeless classic. Yeah, we change it up at Christmas. There's a couple of Christmas ones on there. So you change oh, it up. very nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice. Excellent. Uh, also on SmackDown, uh, Roman Reigns killed Dominic Mysterio. <laughs> <laughs> Roman Reigns murders a child. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Look, look at the look, look at Dom's face. Also, <laughs> uh, his trainers are fucking terrible. I think they're using yeah, yeah. who's, who's trainers. Well, Roman Reigns has gone for the standard gym guy trainers, but Dominic Mysterio's got like they're awful. They're all, they're then, I think they're Yeezys. I'm they also look too big for him. I, I don't. I mean, oh, actually, he's got I enormous feet. feet. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> you know what they say about people with big feet? Yeah, big hands, big shoes. Big socks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> big hands. What am I talking about? Big hands. Uh, um, just big hands. <laughs> big hands. Um, and also on SmackDown, Otis debuted a new look. There he is. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the shave. He's had, a, he's had a shave. Yeah. He now looks even more redneck. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Otis is like a fully blown heel now in, in the Alpha Academy. And yeah. to be honest, I don't hate it. I, I don't really either. don't. I think no, I like good. it. Yeah. Yeah. You need here's, um, you need something to here's another. Up, uh, here's another picture of uh, Otis. If you wanted a better look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wonder what that was when I saw it in the little picture. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> Good film that is. I don't even know what it is. It's from Boss Baby. Oh, is it? Uh, I stole that from Twitter earlier on. I thought it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to whoever was that was on Twitter earlier on that I stole that from. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> Let's quickly skim through the results from uh, NXT TakeOver in your house. I'm sure you've already seen it by now. Um, so in the first match, MSK and Bronson oh. Reed retain their championships over Legado del Fantasma. Awesome. Um, Great match. I'm, yeah, good stuff. Great way to start the show. Really mm. good stuff. Yeah. Um, good to see them win. I, you know, it is way too soon for them to take championships from from all of them yet. Mm. Yeah, I've no okay. doubt. Yeah, I've no doubt. Legado del Fantasma will get their time, um, yeah. but that time isn't yet. Yeah. Yes. Um, Zaya Lee picked up a win against Mercedes Martinez. There she is, uh, having a bit of a sweat. And there's uh, mm -hmm. Tian Shah and the guy behind who I can't actually remember his name. Boa. But Bo Boa. Yes, yeah. that's it. Sorry, I always forget his name. I feel bad for that. But yeah, um, yeah Zaya Lee won. She's absolutely ripped, and um, yeah. <laughs> Tian Shah. Picked up Mercedes Martinez by her face and threw her into the railings. Yes, that was Yeah, cool. I'm curious, curious to find out who this person actually is behind the mask. If it's like an actual wrestler or something. 
It will be a wrestler, won't it? Yeah, I think so. I don't know who, but it's 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 cool. Hmm, very cool. <clears throat> I like it. Yeah, I like it. Um, in other women's action, there we go. Raquel Gonzalez retained the NXT Women's Championship. There's that guy in the Everton shirt. Uh, who is at every single show. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this will make more sense if you're watching the video version, which more of you do these days, because obviously it's probably far more entertaining. And we always talk about the pictures that we put on the screen. Yeah. 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 yeah people, the, people have got FOMO. They don't want to miss out. They don't want to miss exactly. out on the pictures. Exactly. So yeah, there's Raquel Gonzalez. Uh, looking pretty unstoppable at the minute, to be honest. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Really good. Does, make, does make you wonder is who's going to take the title off her? Yeah, sure. definitely. But uh, probably be too much charge. Just pick her up I by mean, her face it, and throw her into the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoever it is, I wouldn't take it off her just yet anyway. No, 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 no. No, no. Too soon. Yeah, far too soon. I feel the same about all the champions in NXT at the minute, to be honest. Yeah, because yeah. it was a bit of a... It, it feels like there's been a, a kind of a flurry of uh, title changes, isn't there, in mm. the last couple of months. So it's still early days. I mean, the, t- the tag one hopped around a little bit but that's women's tag sorry that hopped around a mm-hmm. little bit but um yeah agreed the, the one that seems most likely to change weirdly enough is the is the nxt championship yeah it's just it yeah. feels like there's yeah. so many people going for it mm. yeah, um, yeah, that, yeah you know right. what's, what's cross gonna do just beat everyone up and throw him up to the main roster <laughs> maybe because he just feels main roster ready already you know but yeah, yeah. I, I, I think that's more likely to happen I think, I think he, so. Yeah, he may even debut on the main roster as the champion. You reckon? Ooh, maybe. Yeah. Did, well. Didn't uh, Kevin Owens did that? Didn't he? Kevin Owens did that. Yeah, because yeah. he, he challenged um, Cena when Cena, Cena was doing his uh, awesome um, open United States US Open Challenge. Yeah, I used to love yeah. that. It yeah, was great. Too. It was great. Yeah. Great showcase for a lot of the uh, a, a lot of the up and comers back then. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, right. Speaking of championships. <laughs> L.A. Knight took home the Million Dollar Championship in an awesome ladder match against Cameron Grimes. And yeah. there was a great Very shot cool. there of Ted DiBiase doing his signature Million Dollar Man laugh in the background. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's great. Good I think stuff. this was my uh, match of the night. Yeah? Yeah, I really, really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. I'm a big L.A. Knight fan. Yeah, me yeah. too. I'm a big Cameron Grimes fan as well. I yeah, like I'm a big Cameron them. Grimes yeah, yeah. fan, yeah. Um, but yeah, this was this was great. Uh, really glad to see LA Knight win. I think that was probably um, to keep this program going um, mm. for, for Cameron Grimes to eventually um, win that championship from him. Yeah. Um, I might as well just allude to it now because on this week's NXT, uh, LA Knight laid out the Million Dollar Man and mm. uh, Cameron Grimes mm. basically came up to the Million Dollar Man in like a backstage interview segment Um in fact, no, that might be wrong. No, that was after um, NXT. But yeah, either way, LA Knight laid out the Million Dollar Man. So I imagine Cameron Grimes is going to come to his rescue and um, eventually win that championship. I'm going to guess SummerSlam weekend. Yeah. 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 Well, that week. I mean, we've got the Great American Bash coming up as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I'd like to see LA Knight. I, I don't know what their intentions are with the Million Dollar Championship, whether it's just a sort of a gimmicky thing while the Million Dollar Man's around. And while Cameron Grimes is doing this money gimmick. Yeah, you know, it's, I like it though. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it takes him out for a while. It's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then we had the the main event, which of course was a five-man match. And uh, Karrion Cross retained by killing Kyle O'Reilly. <laughs> Rip. Yeah. But yeah, great match. A lot going Unusual. on, but it was... Yeah. Um, I love that. Yeah, there was a lot going on, but it was good. Uh, I enjoyed Pete's new white gear. Yeah, Peter. Mm. Yeah, Peter. Uh, but yeah, it was uh, that was it was a good show. I enjoyed it a lot. Yep, me too. Great, but great, great show as you as you usually is with NXT. Yeah, I mean logical logical to keep the belt on um, carrying cross for the meantime. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Certainly. I really could have got a bit of better picture of that, but um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, oh, oh he's oh. tapped out. Steve's tapped out. Bye, Steve. Steve tap tap. Steve tap tap. Steve tap tap. Steve tap tap. <laughs> there's, 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 yeah. there's bound to be some sort of technical issue. Yeah. At least one. Oh, they're coming back. Oh. 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 Hey. Oh, he's back. Yes, here we go. <laughs> it's crashed. It just crashed again. Oh, weird. <laughs> I don't know whether my phone needs some sort of upgrade or update or something. Crashed mm. and burned. 
Crashed and burned. I thought well, something was to... playing. I pulled the pictures, kept flickering. Mm. Oh, weird. Yeah, your your it would go sunny fin me, sunny fin me, and then it just boop then went. Oh, yeah, weird. Very strange. We've got to look forward to in three weeks, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, live podcast with technical issues. Cannot wait. Live Can't podcast awesome. with me just disappearing. <laughs> yeah, and doorbells ringing and all sorts of stuff. Hey, look, we even keep that shit in the pre-recorded podcast. It doesn't yeah, matter. that's true. It's fine. True. <laughs> It's fine. We're not, Who cares? We're, not, we're not fucking Joe Rogan. Come on, you know. Not yet. Just, it is what it is. Not yet. We, got, we need day. that Spotify money. Come what, on now. Come Spotify on now, Spotify. Money, bitch. Um, can we <laughs> queue up the? Uh, can we queue up the drip music again, please? Uh, of course. Drip music. Drip. Oh, yes. For this. Oh, yeah. Charlotte Flair this week was wearing a like a just like a bodysuit that was oh. you know straight out of the Seth Rollins. Design Academy. Oh yeah, the flame. It's got like some yeah, like funky flame line type things on it. Funky flame lines, yeah. Yeah, and it was uh, it was incredibly tight. That's a, not a good picture of it. There was much better pictures of it than than that. But you know, that's the one I came across because uh, that's just yeah. uh, that's a poor choice of words, by the way. But um, <laughs> she looks a bit like <laughs> Courtney Love. There. She does a little look a little bit like Courtney Love. Yeah, that's unfortunate. No, 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 no. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. Charlotte Flair drip this week. Yeah. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Good times. Can't stop reading there. Okay. There we go. Uh, right. Elsewhere on Raw, Jeff Hardy lost a match, but also won a match. Yeah, oh. this is weird. <laughs> so we lost to uh, Johnny Drip Drip. Okay. Johnny Dick Drip. <laughs> and uh, then beat Cedric Alexander, who wanted to make Jeff Hardy retire. Right, okay. But there's yeah, Jeff Hardy strange. doing a swanton bomb onto Cedric Alexander. Swan. And Jeff Hardy wins. Cool. Go on, Jeff. Yeah, I, I didn't get it, but sure. Sure, yeah. I don't really understand at the minute either. Jeff Hardy's yeah. featuring fairly... He's on TV every week, I guess, and he's actually winning matches. So I guess I we should be happy. Yeah. I mean, I don't think he's going to get any sort of push. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily be against it, but no? I... Read that he's going to uh, bring back one of his old entrance uh, music for when they're back on the road, so in front of live crowds. The one he had, remember. yeah, yeah, I can't remember what it's called, but um, yeah, it's got, I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, had words in it or something. Like yeah, it was, quite, so, it was quite so, popular. Yeah, so um, I don't know whether there's like a little, a little kind of a don't forget this guy, don't forget this legend. Mm-hmm. You know, just for still when, capable when... of putting great matches on. Oh, like. yeah. I think it's called No More Words, is not thing. That's the that's one. The that's one. exactly it. Yeah. No More Words. Which is ironic because the song does actually have words in it. There's a lot of words, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's good. I like it. Many words. <laughs> uh, Many words. Everyone's favourite baby face, Jackson Riker, <laughs> um, was victorious uh, over Elias by count out. This, no, this is not going to work in the long run. It is nope. not going to work. Whoever <laughs> thinks, whoever backstage has gone... We're going to push Jackson Riker as a face right before fans come back. They are a fucking lunatic. Yeah. He's either going to get no reaction or he's going to get booed. Oh, he's going to get booed. There's no cheers at all. Whether it's a bit of a uh, double bluff and they've actually done it to try and get Elias back over. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, because, you know, you've got to believe people would cheer (laughs) Elias over Jackson Riker. Oh, I think so. I think think Elias is, like, super popular again. Yeah. Yeah. So... Mm. Yeah, I feel like the whole time Elias has been in WWE, he's done absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, they it's, it's, it's start yeah, stop start with him, aren't they? He's not a bad yeah, wrestler either. He's good. No, he's not yeah. a bad wrestler. I always loved the you know the the guitar segments in the middle of the ring yeah. and things like that. But that's all he ever seemed to do. Nothing else. Yeah, yeah. The he used to get so far. Cool. Yeah, yeah. He used to get so far. Then it was like, actually, no. I think he had a couple of injuries as well, and that. Maybe didn't help. Um, yeah. I, I, as, uh, although he was like, he, he gets like, at one point he was really over and stuff. I just, I don't know. I can't ever imagine him really with a belt and having that belt for a long time. Does that make, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah. he could absolutely shit house with the United States Championship. Well, yeah, just do a Dean Ambrose and have it for about two years and defend it twice or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, right. Eva Marie returned. 
Woo! Um, <laughs> obviously, she was geared up to wrestle Naomi, but that didn't happen. No. No, no, no. no. Um, you wouldn't know it because the commentary didn't give her a name or mention her name at all and pretended yeah. like they'd never R- seen her before. Where but Piper Niven from NXT UK um, was at the side of Eva Marie and uh, beat Naomi in a, basically in a squash. Yeah. Good. This, Good to see you this, on TV. This pissed me off. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I, I hate, I, I'm going to sound like a marky fuck here, but it's just really... It's quite disrespectful, isn't it? She's been, been on NXT UK. It's the same company. Acknowledge her. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. It's the same company. You know, yeah, I do get that, yeah. You know, they're going to pull a classic WWE and give her some stupid name. We know it. Well, I read one of the potential names for her. Yeah. And it was something like Do Drop. D O U Drop. Do Drop. What the hell Ooh, is Do Drop? I have no idea. Oh, my God. That, that's, that's very Vince McMahon. Yeah. Do uh, Drop. Called, yeah. What's wrong with Piper Niven? It's a cool name. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Steve's so fuming in the I can, at the bottom there. I can see like he's just livid at the fact that she could be called Dewdrop. Yeah, right. like frozen in time. <laughs> we, can, we can sort of hear you, but keep you, you're cutting in and out. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I heard mo- I heard most of what you're saying. Basically, when when I said that um, you know I thought it was quite disrespectful, it was the same company. Mm. You two had completely froze, but then I kind of heard that you. Did you hear me say that? Because, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I, heard I heard you then part, talking yeah. about it. So, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I thought it was uh, I thought it was pretty shitty, to be honest. What, what do you think of the potential new name? Uh, dreadful. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I understand yeah. that they changed her name from Viper to Piper Niven because, obviously, you've got Viper is associated with Randy Orton and all that sort of stuff. Piper Niven works. But what the fuck is Dewdrop? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, does it? She's no, she's Piper Niven. That's it. It's as simple and, as that, isn't it? Yeah, and 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 just uh, you know anyone that's been body shaming her on the internet over the last week or last few days, uh, fucking grow up. Yeah, go Pretty fuck yourselves. Sick. Yeah, <laughs> simple as she that. Will be, she will beat the shit out of you as well. Yeah, yeah you ever literally. said it to a person. So you know. Yeah, don't be a piece of shit. I mean, I yeah, always knew it was going to happen. And that's the worst yeah. thing. Yeah. And, just, and, 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 I, and I have a horrible thing. Because you, you can almost see where this is heading, can't you? That uh, Piper Niven, let's call her Piper Niven, is going to maybe turn on Eva Marie. Because Eva Marie was the one that took all the glory, didn't she? Um, yeah. yeah. You know, I'm the winner. She announced herself as the winner. Didn't even acknowledge uh, Piper Niven. So, yeah. um, and I have just have a horrible feeling that that's where it's going to go. We're going to go down a, a kind of a body shaming kind of thing because obviously Eva Marie has got an incredible body and is is like ripped and whatnot uh, and Piper Niven is of a different shape so I, I've just got a horrible feeling that's the way it's going to go I, I think if it does that though WWE will catch some serious flack and I, well, they I will, think that's, yes. that's flack that they don't need yeah because yeah, they, they caught a bit of shit when there was the whole Alexa Bliss Nia Jax bullying mm-hmm. storyline as well so uh, hopefully they don't I just have a feeling it might do. Fingers crossed that that doesn't happen. But hey, great to see Piper on the main roster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. They obviously see that, that enough time. in her for her to for them to bring her up. So that's great. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. Then we had the uh, the main event, uh, which was a um, well, it was the Viking Raiders and Drew McIntyre against AJ Styles, Omos, and what ended up being Bobby Lashley. Oh, yeah, I need to as well. I stopped by this one. Uh, so, <laughs> Bobby Lashley was sat at the top of the ramp with Lashley's ladies. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, Lashley's ladies. ladies. I could do without that bullshit, to be honest. Hello, ladies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they had like, a, they had like a, the red rope and stuff at the top of the ramp with oh, yeah. um, like like leather sofas like they use for the VIP lounge. And they just had these ladies sitting on there. Get a grip. <laughs> um, anyway, um, Drew McIntyre stood tall by pinning Bobby Lashley. And um, yeah, so that's him not winning on Sunday. Good stuff. Um, match yet again. Um, you missed out um, RK Bro versus New Day, which was a really, really good match. You I know what? I had, that, I had that to do, and there it is. And yeah, I just forgot. <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah, great match. I really enjoyed this. 
I like what. These two could do with getting on the weights. Yeah, I know, right? Good. <laughs> yeah. That's like ridiculous. Um, they're stacked. A bit scary, <laughs> Yeah, I know. Um, I, they're, they're definitely going to put the tag team titles on them. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely going to put the belts on them at some point. Yeah, I thought it was a really good match. I really enjoyed everything they did um, through the entire match. I was, I was hooked. It's a rare AM on board these days. Yeah, that is, it is a rare thing. I mean, you've got to believe it's going to pick up when fans are back, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The energy's oh, got to yeah. pick up, hasn't it? Yeah, it's got to. Because otherwise there'll be no fans there to watch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that was Raw. It was fine, obviously, as, as, you know, the go-home show in terms of the Raw stuff uh, leading into Hell in, a, Hell in a Cell on Sunday. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean, it, it was fine. Some good stuff, some not-so-good stuff. But, hey, that's Raw. Yep. That's <laughs> Raw. Show. That's raw. That's what all the people say. Um, right. NXT happened last night. No, it didn't happen it on did. Tuesday night. It's now yeah. Thursday. Thursday. We're recording on a Thursday. Um, so the, there's big, the big news this week. Obviously, Oof. the big news this week. The biggest news and the news that makes me so incredibly happy, I can't find the pictures. Um, yeah. Samoa Joe is back. Yay. In NXT, yeah. helping out William Regal. Here he is, staring carrying Cross in the face, and he said, "TikTok young champion," and <laughs> I got uh, an erection. <laughs> I, hid behind the so- that- I hid behind the sofa. It scared me. <laughs> TikTok Thank young God, someone- champion. Yeah, Oof. someone had common sense. Triple H had the sense to bring Joe back. Yeah, how did he let Joe go? It's dumb as fuck. It's so stupid. Well. Did he did did he actually get released? Is it all a play? Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Um, I think he got released. Mm, it'd be quite and, and and I guess the the one the first one of the first things I thought of was remember all that outrage when it happened. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, not to sort of go off on a bit of a tangent, it was a bit like us on Sunday when we saw the lineup for the England game. We were like, "What? What's he doing?" <laughs> yeah, and then England won, and it was fine, and it was like, oh, genius! What yeah. you know, <laughs> South, Southgate knew all along. Everyone was booting off, and rightly so when Samoa Joe got released. Um, you know, there was, uh, I think it was Rene Paquette even said, "How do you, how do you mess up uh, something like Samoa Joe and, and all of that?" No, everyone just when these things happen, just chill because you never know what's going to happen down the line. You know, mm-hmm. so yeah. And he came, and he's and he's back, and I think it's I think it's going to be great. Looking like an absolute murderer as well. Here he is killing Oof. Adam Cole. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah. That yep. was amazing. That was absolutely awesome. Just the way that like, Adam Cole pushed <laughs> by him, jacket off, jacket off. Joke. He couldn't get the jacket off quick enough. <laughs> no. <laughs> Slow the security out of the way. Yeah. To sleep. Amazing. And then we got this beauty of a tease as well. Inject oh, that ooh. shit straight Don't. into me. Very nice. Do you think we will see him wrestle again? Because I know, yes. I know the whole the whole thing yeah. is non competitive role and all of this, and you can only uh, what did Regal say? You, you you can only attack if provoked. Yeah, I think he's going to yeah. murder people every week on NXT until, until eventually there's a match. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think yeah, some, someone will. They'll call him out and say, "Look, enough now." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I imagine it's going to be more of a part time thing because there's you know concussion stuff. Yeah, but he will he will be wrestling again for sure. But he's so good on the mic. Um, this role, based on this week's NXT, is going to suit him down to a T. Oh, oh yeah, amazing. And also, how good was Regal at the start? So good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, thought he was going to retire. I wouldn't see him again, but no, sticking around. Yeah, man. And it's it's just such an exciting time again for NXT. It, it freshens it up a little bit because now people mm. want to tune in. They want to see Joe and what he's going to do every week. Um, yeah, it's it's. It's, it's, I'm just so happy he's back. But, you know, yep. I've, you know, I've watched it so many times, like in coming out, and you just think, yeah, it's fucking rules. His music rules. Yeah, yep. <laughs> music is amazing. <laughs> so good. Um, elsewhere on NXT, uh, Imperium murdered Brizango. There's that. <laughs> Rip. Yep. God, Rip. Fabian Eichner is stacked there. <laughs> <He's Yep>. so- <laughs> Insane. Um, we talked about this earlier on, but there's LA Knight talking to Ted DiBiase moments before he laid him out. 
Mm-hmm. Mm. Good heel, to, good heel move that. I like that. Oh, yeah. All good. Um, we're getting this next week. Oh my Ooh. god! Very <sighs> nice. Do you think that'll be for the cruiserweight title, or I think it is for the cruiserweight title, isn't it? I believe so. I hope so. I hope so. But like, th- uh, this is awesome because it means that like it's, it's going to make the cruiserweight title mean something. I already feel like the cruiserweight title means more now than it ever has. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. It, it, oh yeah. It, is it for the cruise? Because aren't we getting? O'Reilly versus Cole at uh, American Bash. Right, American Bash, in, yeah, in, we in, are. In an, un, in an unsanctioned match, which is classic NXT. Um, yeah, yeah. So. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's not for the title. Who cares? It'll be amazing. But let's, let, let, hey, look, let's, let, well, let's have that down the line, but let's just be grateful we're getting that match. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Uh, and then in the main event of NXT, um, Thatcher oh, and <laughs> Champa had an incredible match. The referee's uh, blurred. He's about to get killed by the lady in the ring. Um, <laughs> as in the movie The Ring, not the wrestling ring. Um, ah, I got you. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, there's Champa and uh, Timothy Thatcher having a good old stretch of uh, old James Drake. Mm. <laughs> that was but, yeah. a great match. Great, a great. It, was, it felt like a takeover level match that main event. Yeah, Grizzly uh, and Veterans are so good. I'd love to see them with the tag titles eventually. Yeah, I, I think it'll happen. Definitely. I think it'll. Yeah, happen. I reckon they'll be the ones to take it off MSK. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Although Del Fantasma wouldn't surprise me if they took it off him. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. at least his tag teams in NXT okay, that you care yeah, about. Yeah. And yeah, that you exactly. wouldn't mind seeing as champions. It's more yeah. than one, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Good stuff. So yeah, man, NXT's NXT's definitely sort of um, getting better again. Yeah. Yes. You know, every, yeah, everything has a little bit of a dip. Even AEW had a couple of dips after the pay-per-view, you know, a couple of weeks where it was just like, this is a bit, there's no cohesion here at all. We're just throwing things together for the sake of it. Um, but yeah, NXT's getting there again. I mean, it's an exciting time, for sure. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Um, let's have a quick look as to what's going on elsewhere the rest of this week. Um, so tonight, um, Steve Macklin, formerly... Um, Steve Cutler of Forgotten Sons fame, if you oh, want yeah. to call it that, debuts tonight on Impact. Um, Madman Fulton, who I believe used to be in Sanity. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sawyer Fulton, yeah. yeah um, he's taken on the current um, Impact Wrestling X Division champion, Josh Alexander, who is absolutely awesome, by the way, was in a tag team with All Ego Ethan Page in the North. Um Tennille Dashwood, formerly Emma in WWE, is taking on, taking on um, former Knockouts Tag Team Champion Rachel Ellering. Cool. Mm-hmm. Former WWE Cruiserweight Champion TJP oh, wow. is taking on Black Taurus. Cool. Which is pretty cool. And there we go. Uh, Satoshi wow. Kojima is taking on Rhino. And if <laughs> Kojima wins, him and Eddie Edwards earn an Impact Wrestling Tag Team Championship match. Cool. My note is still going. I like it. Yeah. It looks awesome as well. Look at him there, man. Yeah. yeah. It's right, it's a good yeah. Shape. yeah, for sure. Um, AEW this week. Um, Andrade El Idolo is going to have a sit-down interview with Jim Ross because that's what all the new talent do when they come in. They sit down with Jim Ross and talk. Um, cool. Obviously, we'll hear what his future intentions are going to be. Cody Rhodes and Brock Anderson. That is the son of Arn Anderson. You can uh, tell. Yeah. Just look at them. You can't, you can't yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah <no. laughs> Look at it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're going to be taking on QT Marshall and Aaron Solo. Aaron Solo, Aaron Solo, A Ron Solo, A A Ron Solo, A one, yeah. <laughs> um, Darby Allen is in a handicap match against Scorpio Sky and Ethan Page, so expect Sting to return at some point there. And um, I, I think this is being billed as the main event. Um, which should be great, by the way. Jake Hager versus Ooh. Wardlow in an MMA rules cage fight. Oh, interesting. So cool. that should be good. And, that, and that's this Friday, which means I won't probably <laughs> won't get to see it until about next Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, man, all the good wrestling coming up. Uh, again, um, obviously, usually we would talk about MLW, but uh, they're sort of away for the next few weeks before their TV taping start again in July. But, um, yeah, we'll talk about them when they're back. They're a great yeah. little company. Yeah. yeah. Super exciting. So, Wasn't um, um, ACH is retired, isn't he? 
AC H is retired. Uh, this is yeah. the second time he's retired as well. Yeah, he'll be back. Like, he'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> did, did we talk about Leo Rush last week retiring? Retiring. We did. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think we did. I think we mentioned yeah. it. I think we did. Um, I think we also said that he'll be back and he will. Yep. <laughs> Leo Rush is super young. I think yeah. ACH is as well. Young. Yeah, yeah. They'll be back. Probably. I, mean, I, I don't know if ACH's retirement had anything to do with MLW being in negotiations with WWE or anything like that. True. Maybe. Maybe. Mm. Obviously, we don't know for sure, but, you know, my, uh, nothing came of that anyway, but, you know, maybe the fact that it was even happening, maybe sort of uh, caught the wrong side of ACH, because as we know, he's not a big fan of them. <laughs> not so much. No. Um, so we're going to be live on Sunday night, 9 p.m., for the pre show before the pre show um, for Helen in a Cell. Um, just realized when we talked about Charlotte Flair, we didn't do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, this, this, this is a live shot of when she was running down to the ring to attack Rhea Ripley. There we go. <laughs> uh, every week. That's, that's never going away. Every... As long as Charlotte Flair is there, that's going to happen. One hundred percent. Yeah, so we'll be back. We'll be live on Sunday, um, nine o'clock YouTube and Facebook. Uh, that's ours and Powered Four TV. Mm-hmm. Finny, are you going to be yep. joining us on Sunday or no? Uh, I'm going to be working again. That's fine. Let's do. Let's do that now, Leo. But so me and Steve carrying the ship. Again on Sunday. Yeah. Oh, everyone, 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 everyone's favourite live duo. Your, my back's hurting from carrying the pre-show. I don't know about yours, Sonny. Really? <laughs> yeah, my, my back yeah. is hurting a little <laughs> bit, yeah. I feel like my shoulders are really starting to sort of like bow a little <sighs> bit. Yeah. <laughs> carrying that weight. Only joking, Finn. We're joking, Finn. You get you get them comments in though when you're uh, when you can. Yeah, yeah. I'll be there. Oh, turn, be there turn up in the robe again. Yeah, why not? Yeah, woo, <laughs> woo. <laughs> right, um, go check us out on all the social medias. That is uh, at Games and Graps on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, we are on TikTok. You can go and see our uh, amusing TikToks, which is uh, tiktok.com forward slash Games and Graps, or because no one ever goes on the website, just search Games and Graps on the app, and we'll be there. We'll be there yeah. for you. We'll be there. we'll be there for you, absolutely. <laughs> um, don't forget to visit thirteen ten apparel dot bigcartel dot com and use the code games and graps at checkout for twenty percent off your full order. That is thirteen ten apparel dot bigcartel dot com forward slash. No, that's wrong. No forward slash. <laughs> no forward slash. Just just that. Yeah. Just, just that. forward slash. You can put a forward slash if you want, but the website won't come up. Probably. <laughs> It'll talk about. Okay, fair enough. The website yeah, will still come up. It. Yeah. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, like the video. It does help us. Um, subscribe to the channel. Again, every little helps. If you're watching it, it on, does. if you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, um, just drop us a little review. Just say, hey, look, yes. these guys are all right. They're, yeah, like, they have technical subscribe. issues Comment. every week, but they're okay. <laughs> <laughs> but all of that stuff helps us massively. Yeah. So this has been episode 147 of the Games and Graps podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every week across podcast services everywhere. 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 And youtube.com forward slash games graps. That is youtube.com forward slash games graps. Go subscribe. We'll be back on Sunday and again next week. My name is Sonny G and I've been with Finn Steele. Goodbye. And Steve. See you later. And we will see you Sunday and next week. Take it easy, guys. Goodbye. Thanks so much. Goodbye. Toodaloo.